Hello friends, Jason and Rebecca here with you, Mama's Treasures. We uh, came across a flea market today and uh, we're in a neighboring province and we just decided that uh, we would uh, take a look at our goodies with you and film it. Uh, so we're doing an impromptu trunk haul video. Uh, we found some really fun things and uh, we found out that this flea market is, uh, it goes on every Sunday um, throughout the year. So uh, if we're ever in Alberta again, in Calgary, Alberta, we will definitely be coming back. So quick run through of what we got today. I might as well start right here. We got this beautiful piece of green glass. It is absolutely stunning. Nice polished bottom. I don't know anything about it. It's not signed, but uh, it is absolutely gorgeous. And we got this vase. Um, so it has like a pearlescent pinky on the outside. And it's orange from the inside. Look how pretty it is from the top. It's so gorgeous. Um, he said he thinks it's from the 50s. It's a beautiful, heavy piece of glass. Great, great quality. It does not glow. Uh, he assured us it did not glow. <laughs> um, and then we found this. I think this will clean up really, really well. Another really great piece of glass. It's actually signed here on the bottom as Evolution by Waterford. So it's crystal. And I'm not sure if you can see that there. But yeah, there we go. Evolution by Waterford. Um, there's lots of wax residue in it, but there's beautiful Bolconti. And it kind of has like a blue mouth here. So I'm not sure if this was intended for a candle holder. It must have been what they did use it for. But I think it'll clean up really, really nicely. And then we found another scotch tin. I like to pick these up when I can. This one's in great condition. We found a Betty Boop belt buckle, super fun. So enameled Betty Boop belt buckle. It is uh, 2005. King features, you can probably read it there. Um, we're just pulled off into a parking lot here. We ran in to use the washroom and uh, got another coffee. Um, so we're just, uh, you can probably hear the traffic. And we found this saxophone brooch. It's so pretty. It's got a pearl coming up out of it. Beautiful rhinestones. It was really bright in the flea market and we couldn't read how it was marked, but maybe I can here. Um, I think it says J, J, F, J, Kenneth J. Cole, maybe? I'm not sure, but it does have a marking there. It's beautiful. Uh, saxophone brooch. I've never had one of those. And we found a Bailey's spoon. Bailey's coffee spoon. This one has um, the little bow beside the, beside the mug handle there. So cute. Yeah, so and then it has some uh, recipes on the back. So it's in the package. I, um, some of you may know that I've started a peanut collection, peanut butter tins, peanuts collection, and planters and uh, squirrel, planters peanuts and squirrel peanut butter is what I'm after. So this will probably stay in my collection. And then we found a whole bunch of grocery jars and actual tinned groceries. So I'm not gonna show you, bore you with all of uh, all, the, all the bottles that we found, but it was a bulk deal and it came in this apple crate. Um, and it has a milk jar and uh, just all kinds of empty spices and extract bottles. Actually, some of them aren't empty. Some of them are still in there, like um, lemon peel. I've never seen that. Poultry seasoning, that one's empty. We've got coconut extract, how cool. Uh, yeah, so if there is something that you are interested in um, and I don't mention that I'm keeping for myself, definitely get a hold of us with uh, the email in the description and we can discuss a price and shipping and all that good stuff. We are in Canada, so they, they would be Canadian dollars. And then we found this sweet little bear planter he looks pretty old. 
Um, got some cars for a friend of ours who is collecting Corvettes. I found this sweet turtle. Such a cute turtle. Look at the bubbles on him. He's got a really nice polished bottom. Um, paid $5 for him. So sweet. He's in perfect condition. And speaking of my groceries, I think these are gonna stay on my Hooser cabinet. They just display so well. I think these are dehydrated, like the seal broke. You can hear it rattling around in there. But the graphics on these are so fun. Love it. And then we've got, uh, what is this? Bur Burnham Gifted Early June Peas, that big can there. This one is uh, Early Evergreen Corn by Burnham. I just love the graphics. Oh my goodness, so awesome. Yes, definitely dehydrated. They're rusted through. <laughs> and there is Sweet. This one is Sweet Corn. That's full. The Bartlett Pears is full, totally sealed. And then we have this really neat can of peas, also dehydrated. Um, okay, a couple more things. We did really good, honey. Um, so we got this cookie jar. Look how sweet the little deer. When I first saw it, I thought he was smoking a pipe, but Jason's like, um, no, those are cherries. Okay. But uh, yeah, I'm not sure who made this, but it's a cookie jar with a cute little deer on it. It's in great condition. And we found this hall vase. And uh, this one was, uh, I believe is the Woodland collection. Um, the Hull Pottery just has such a buttery feeling to it. If you get your hands on it, it's so good. Um, and that's quite a big piece. And it's decorated on both sides in great condition. And last, but definitely not least, um, you know my love of paper. And um, I found this Eaton's catalog. This is from spring and summer, 1944. And of course the girl on the cover is what grabbed my attention first, but um, it's pretty rough, but we do pretty well with our catalogs on eBay. And I love going through the catalogs before we put them up for sale. You can learn a lot um, about the eras. Like look, they sold, they sold aprons at Eaton's and in the back is usually where you find the toys and home decor. Look at all the different things. You could buy packaged bees from the Eaton's catalogs. They had absolutely everything. So that one will probably go up on our eBay store um, unless someone is interested here. Um, so yeah, that is what we got at the flea market. We're gonna continue our antique and vintage hunt in the city of Calgary today. And uh, yeah, I'll leave the email uh, to get a hold of us down below if any of these items interest you and we can discuss, discuss price through email. Thank you everybody for watching and take care. Happy weekend everybody, bye-bye.